Welcome to Geocast. Reliable weather data is more crucial than ever for planning, managing life risk and business loss due to growth of extreme weather conditions and events. Growing climate awareness, tech advancements and more frequent, severe weather due to climate change are driving huge demand for accurate, timely information for both businesses and individuals. That's where the Google Maps platform Weather API comes in. This powerful service provides comprehensive, high-resolution weather with forecasts, created within a few kilometers for any location globally. Its purpose is to empower our developers, customers, and partners to build dynamic, weather-aware applications that can make informed decisions. As part of the Google Maps platform, it helps you go beyond just maps. By integrating critical environmental context alongside other APIs like Air Quality API and Pollen API. The Weather API provides developer friendly data elements such as temperature and precipitation, ready to be integrated into applications or consumed by services. You can perform requests by submitting a latitude longitude to any of the following endpoints. The current condition endpoint provides real-time data that is updated approximately every 15 minutes. The hourly forecast endpoint offers detailed conditions for up to 240 hours into the future, starting from the next full hour. This data is updated roughly every 30 minutes. For longer-term planning, Weather API provides the daily forecast endpoint for up to 10 days. Daily data updated every 30 minutes. And finally, the hourly history endpoint provides past conditions for all elements. It is updated twice a day. You get detailed information across a wide range of weather elements. Temperature, including feels like temperature, wind chill, and heat index. You can even see the temperature change over the last 24 hours and the daily max min. Precipitation details, showing rain, ice, snow, or mix, including the probability and amount, QPF, plus thunderstorm probability. Cloud cover, indicating the fraction of the sky obscured, along with UV index, a single index from 0 to 11 plus combining UVA, UVB, and visibility the distance you can clearly see. Humidity, providing relative humidity, dew point, and air pressure, which can indicate stable or unsettled weather. Wind information, detailing speed, direction, in degrees and cardinal points, gust speed, and wind chill, temperature. Note for daily forecast endpoint, you will have daytime and nighttime forecast, including set, rise, times, and moon stage. Weather primarily supports populated areas, and while coverage is extensive and is evolving, it currently excludes Japan, Korea, and prohibited territories. Google is continuously working on improving the resolution and coverage, with plans to look into areas like Japan, Korea, and improving accuracy in remote locations. What powers this data? The Google Weather API is built on a state-of-the-art model, leveraging a proprietary combination of best-in-class weather data from global agencies with highly granular localized information. It features continuous data validation and improvement, and uniquely integrates technology from a reputable weather company acquisition, with advancements from Google DeepMind's cutting-edge AI models, MetNet and WeatherNext, with integration scheduled in 2025. This approach uses both advanced AI and traditional numerical weather prediction systems. By integrating the Weather API, you can unlock significant value across the Google Maps platform. You can enhance places with dynamic weather attributes, allowing retailers and consumer packaged good companies to analyze how weather affects demand and optimize supply chains. Critically, you can incorporate real-time and forecast weather data into maps and routes, to optimize transportation logistics, deliveries, and navigation based on current or expected conditions, which is helpful for automotive applications like enhancing navigation systems. It also works seamlessly with our air quality and pollen data to provide comprehensive environmental insights for decision-making across industries like travel, real estate, and healthcare. Note that for specialized research and ML modeling, other services or complementary Google Weather services can be used, such as raw AI model outputs like WeatherNext, GraphCast, and GenCast, available separately on platforms like Earth Engine. Let's build a cool weather widget on Google Maps. First up, let's get our map on the page. In your HTML, you'll need a div element, which we will call Map, to hold your map. Make sure to give it some height. Then, include the Google Maps JavaScript API script. Next, we will create a custom HTML element for your Weather API widget. This makes our code clean, 
and reusable. We define a class, let's call it weather widget, that extends HTML element. In its constructor, we attach a shadow DOM. This is great for keeping the widget style and structure separate from the rest of your page. We then set its inner HTML with the basic layout, an image for the weather API icon, a span for the temperature and a paragraph for the description, along with some simple CSS. The key part is the weather data setter. When we fetch weather information later, we will pass it to this property. The setter will then update the icon, temperature and description inside our widget. Finally, we register our new element with custom elements.define, naming it weather-widget. Now, we can use weather widget tags in our HTML or create them with JavaScript. All right, let's bring it all together. We'll create a function, say, add weather marker to map, that takes our map instance and a latitude longitude. First, this function fetches weather API data. Replace your API key and the example API URL with your details. We make an asynchronous fetch call. If successful, we parse the JSON response and extract the temperature, description, and icon URL. Make sure to adapt this part to match the structure of the data that Weather API provides. We also include error handling. Next, we create an instance of our Weather Widget custom element using document.createElement. We then set its weather data property with the information we just fetched. Finally, we use Google Maps Advanced Marker element. We provide the map instance, the position, and crucially, for the content property, we pass our widget element. This tells Google Maps to use our custom Weather API widget as the visual representation of the marker. And that's it. You'll see your Weather widget displayed on the map. Ready to start building powerful weather-aware applications and solutions? Head over to the Weather API developer documentation and truly go beyond the map. <laughs>